Welcome back. Austin Mayor Steve Adler joining us for our weekly segment Mondays with the Mayor. Good morning, Mayor. Thanks for inviting me back. So this week, big week, because on Wednesday, you said it. We've got you on camera. We're going to get an answer about the soccer stadium at McCullough Place, whether it's a yay or a nay. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm ready for us to make a decision. This is this is drug on for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think we're in a place where we can make a decision. I think it's a really important thing for the city. Uh, you know, this is somebody who's building a stadium at their cost and then giving it to us and then leasing it back from us. Uh, and, and we are not cutting any check to, 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 to anybody uh, on this. It's a better deal than, than any city's gotten anywhere in the country. And frankly, in Austin, to have an activity like this that actually brings together all parts of our city is something that we need in this city. We don't have that kind of thing and our, and our city suffers from it. Uh, so my hope is that on Wednesday we'll 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 make this decision and then and then we'll move forward. And not only make the decision, but make it quickly because I believe I have you on tape saying by 11:30 we'll have an answer. That's your hope. That's my hope, and and I had uh, I hope uh, six of my colleagues nodding <laughs> yes. We'll start at nine o'clock. We'll we'll run through some amendments that the people have uh, proposed. Uh, and boy, I tell you, at 11.30, I'm real hopeful I'll be able to call for a vote. Yeah, and I, I think the big question that a lot of people had was about transportation in that area, parking in that area. You're confident that has been worked out. Yeah, and in any kind of development, that area is developing. And as part of developments, um, uh, people who are building have to come to the city with a parking plan and a transportation plan and a traffic plan. And this particular development is going to be treated no differently than anything else we do in the city. They're going to have to follow all the regulations, all the rules, including uh, uh, putting together a transportation traffic plan that the city approves. Uh, so they'll do it just like everybody else does. And then the other thing we really want to talk to you about is code next. Council voting unanimously to scrap it, so to speak, to say what's what's going to happen now? Well, I think the important thing is, is that to remember is that our challenges have not gone away. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have transportation and mobility challenges and they're significant. We all feel them. And we also know that, that changing this 30-year-old code is something that we have to do. It's not the only answer to these challenges, but it's an important piece of the answer. So we still have to get it done. But the process we were in uh, had reached a place where it was just, um, uh, it, it lacked the trust in the community. There was so much uh, misinformation and, 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 and anxiousness uh, about it. Uh, it was better to, to put it aside and, and move forward. And now city manager coming in with a fresh set of eyes, he'll look at some things and come back with recommendations, right? I yeah, he will, and he'll be able to say what went right, what went wrong. He'll be able to pull forward a lot of the work that's been done in the past that still has great value. Okay, perfect. Mayor Adler, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it, and thank we'll be you. right back. Thank you.